We do all kinds of things for love and yeah. often for things that we mistake for love. I don't know if I'd kill someone for love, but then no one's ever asked me. <laughs> The premise of Landscapers is that Susan and Chris Edwards were accused of the double murder of Susan's parents and then of burying them in the parents' backyard in Mansfield. And it's their love story. And along the way, we explore various versions of the truth as it may or may not have been presented by different characters. What's fascinated me most about playing the character Susan is her fantasy world. I love the way we see her fantasy, and that's been really fun, having someone with such a vivid imagination. Do you like to watch a film? Susan has quite clear influences in what she considers to be romantic, and she loves black and white films, romantic films, she loves westerns, damsel in distress, and heroic man. Just run, Susan, go! No! Chris is her knight in shining armour. Her cowboy, her Gary Cooper. She just wanted to be rescued, I think. Chris is always trying to save someone and has, has never succeeded. He gives up his life to serve Susan, to serve her fantasies, to live in her world. And he would say he, at the end, that he, ne he never gave up the real world for her, so that she was uh, the real world. One of the big parts of the story is why, this is not really a spoiler, why he ultimately gives them both up, which he does early on in the story. We see him surrender himself to the British police. And why he did that after 15 years is uh, one of the core questions of the, of the whole series. I can't let Susan down. How would we describe the fictional, the fictional Chris, Chris and Susan's relationship? Chris's relationship? I think what these two characters believe is that they are absolutely in love with each other and, yeah. and that it's reciprocal. That's, that's, that's a love dream, isn't it? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's to me feels like the basis of this. Whether they are delusional in other parts of their life, they have that. The manipulation that they have with each other is, is controlling the denial of that, of what they've done. There are some parts of the script which I had a problem with when I was learning it and how to interpret it, where when they arrive back in the country, he says, just, we've got nothing to worry about, just tell them the truth. Yeah. Tell them exactly what happened. What we then see them doing is not at all telling the truth. They're telling the story that they've made up, that they've agreed is the truth. We just have to stick to the plan and tell them, don't we? That we've been saying, stick to the plan. That's right, darling. Stick to the plan. He has to believe that in the moment he says it, and that they must, in their daily life, I think, never talk about this. Never talk for 15 years about the murders. I but then imagine. they must have done to get their story, absolutely, because they, they repeat the same phrases, don't they? But in their day-to-day -day life, I, I doubt that they ever ask how each other are feeling yeah, yeah, yeah. about the murders themselves and the burying of the bodies. Can love make you act against your instinct? Yes, and I'd say that from personal experience, but I'm not sure I'm going to go into detail. Will you uh, tell me after? <laughs> Yesterday morning, two bodies were found buried in the back garden of a house in Mansfield. Oh, hello again. Just needs a little bit of clearing up, that's all. He's doing one thing and I'm doing another and we're not together. 